From this evening, I must give the British people a very simple instruction. You must stay at home. Today I'd like to provide an update to the American people on several decisive new actions we're taking in our very vigilant effort to combat and ultimately defeat the corona vi virus. I would like to begin by announcing some important developments in our war against the Chinese virus. Why do you keep calling this the Chinese virus? Why do you keep using this? Because it comes from China. Racist. It's not racist. At all. No. It comes from China. At a hospital the other night where I think there were, a few, there were actually a few coronavirus patients and I shook hands with everybody. British Prime Minister Boris Johnson has been admitted to intensive care with those persistent symptoms of coronavirus. Once you have the attention of the President of the United States, the impact can potentially be massive and maybe we're looking at influencing policy and reopening the country sooner than some health experts probably want it. Then I see the disinfectant that knocks it out in a minute, one minute. And is there a way we can do something like that uh, by injection? We agreed that we should go for a short drive to see if I could drive safely. We drove for roughly half an hour and ended up on the outskirts of Barn Castle Town. But several scientists on the government's advisory group known as SAGE say things are changing too soon. India and Pakistan are facing their worst plague of locusts in decades. The racial turmoil sweeping America amid a pandemic has created a growing sense of crisis. Thank you.